welcome all of you to our webinar series. Uh, uh, in this series, uh, we have conducted so many webinars on different topics. So in this continuation, our today's topic is grow your school and increase enrollment for the next academic year. Uh, so before I start with the webinar, I would like to introduce myself first. I am Gereja and uh, I'm part of the academic solution team team and today I will be taking you through this webinar uh, with me uh, today we uh, along with me today we have one of our learning partner UPS at the end of this uh, webinar they will uh, share with us this uh, very interesting presentation with uh, all of us which can benefit this school so I request to all of you please stay tuned uh, I would like to highlight two more things uh, here. Uh, one is we have been providing a webinar participation certificates. For that, at the end of the webinar, we'll be sharing a feedback form. So I request to all of you to please fill that form with correct information so you can get your certificates. Uh, let's move ahead with our today's uh, webinar. So let me take you through this today's agenda very quickly. Uh, we'll start with the introduction and session objectives. Then we'll talk about current context. Then we'll uh, see ways to increase the enrollment. Then we'll uh, talk about the school uh, marketing and different channels. We'll talk about the Vatana programs. And then we'll talk about school Mitra 21st century OS. And we'll close the session with the feedback. Let's uh, begin with a webinar uh, uh, objective. So in today's webinar, we'll be uh, talking about three things. We'll try to understand what our customer want from school. Then we'll uh, uh, look at it, uh, school's unique selling proposition and school marketing. Then we'll learn about different marketing channels and use them to build a strong presence within the community. Uh, let's start with the webinar understanding the current context what is the situation of the schools in uh, right now and what is happening in this enrollment and uh, en enrollment point uh, so as we know like it's been two year covid hit us and but still we are seeing the uh, impact of it especially the education sector education sector and schools impacted most uh, as compared to other sectors and we're still seeing the impact or uh, impact of this COVID. So as per the uh, data, uh, it is especially impacted the school enroll student enrollment. So as per the data, the government school uh, school in, in uh, enrollment has increased by seven percent in last seven, uh, in last four years, especially after the COVID. In 2018, it was six, uh, 60 point percent. Now in 2000, it has increased, and now it is enrollment rate is 72.9 percent. So it is clearly saying now uh, students are shifting to the government school to, to the various reasons, and it has impacting the school private enrollment rate so in last two years the enrollment the rate has uh, went down by four percent in 2020 the the moment the covid hit it was 28 uh, 28.8 percent and in 2021 uh, uh, it went down by four percent now it's 20 uh, 24.4 percent so it is uh, clearly the data is saying uh, private schools are facing this enrollment issues and uh, students are shifting to the government school or to the different uh, schools. So there's a clear the need to focus on how we can uh, uh, like you know, increase the enrollment. And this is what we are going to talk in this today's uh, uh, webinar, how we can increase the enrollment and grow our school for next academic year before i begin with the today's topic uh, i would like to know from all of you are you whatever the data is saying right it's like it, there is decline in the enrollment uh, so are you facing a decline and challenges in increasing enrollment of your school as well or what are the steps uh, have you taken so far to resolve it uh, so anybody uh, like if you want to share, please uh, use the Q&A box. And if you want to speak, please raise your hand. Yes. yes. Madam, uh, in our school, actually, the strength has been fallen down to 50%. Hmm. 
from uh, 19 uh, to 20. Mm -hmm. That is after COVID, it has been uh, declined to 50% of the strength what we had earlier plus. So what okay. should be the better steps we take unless uh, we too had given advertisements and through pamphlets and door to door um, uh, this uh, issue of pamphlets we have done, door to door survey we have done, but still it is not uh, possible for us to get the strength so far. <laughs> So what should be done from our side other than this? Uh, so sorry, sir, you can repeat your last sentence, what you said? So we have distributed the pamphlets regarding our school door to door and we are advertised and but still we have not uh, crossed our, we have not able to manage our previous strength. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir, you're saying something. So, what could be the next step that we have to take? Yes, to sir. Get so the, the sorry, sir, you continue. I cut you down. You're saying something? So, what should be the, our next step to get good strength for our school? Yes, sir. Uh, first, thank you for sharing uh, what the strategies you have, uh, like you know, uh, implemented so far. I'm pretty sure all of uh, all of, all the other schools have done similar something like this. And this is what we are uh, gathered today. How these, even though we have, uh, you know, applied and implemented different strategies, but still this doesn't work out. And in the, in the now in the session, we'll uh, see what strategies we can apply. And how we can plan to increase this enrollment. Just stay tuned. Yes. yes, please. Uh, this Mandal, I have also uh, given you permission to speak. Uh, you have to unmute yourself and then you can. Vikmandal, I have uh, given you permission to speak. Unmute yourself if you want to speak. Yeah. Good evening, ma'am. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, good evening. Um, just uh, before COVID, ma'am, my school is going properly. <clears throat> but after COVID, ma'am, my school is not going 50% already low, ma'am, down. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how, we will, uh, how we will invite to uh students and how we will invite parents and how we will connect uh, or with uh, other peoples to improve our schools and uh, improve all the curricular activities of our schools uh, ma'am so always i'm facing difficulties sometimes mm -hmm. because nowadays uh, my school is not running properly ma'am mm -hmm. uh, the covid ma'am my mm -hmm. school is uh, already i opened uh, uh, for five years already passed, ma'am. But mm -hmm. uh, COVID, no, all difficulties I faced for that purpose. How I will invite and how I will uh, <clears throat> tell to parents so my school will be grow again and again that will become back how it happens uh, uh, before how the parents and people so all, all the students came suddenly for that purpose i'm trying ma'am so you please tell me how i will improve my students in my school how i will join it in my school ma'am okay uh thank you for sharing your thoughts and the strategies you have uh, you know, applied so far and this is uh, as i mentioned uh, earlier as well with uh in uh in the uh Ahead, we'll talk about the different strategies and how uh, we can increase this enrollment. Just stay tuned with us. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, let's move ahead uh, with our uh, today's uh, uh, today's uh, session. So you have shared many. Like I think all we have seen this, all the schools are facing this issue. They have seen this decline in their enrollment, especially after uh, the COVID, right? And uh, students are not coming back to, uh, to the schools. Even we have uh, tried different strategies 
distributing templates, making aware, uh, talking to the parents, but still we are not seeing uh, seeing the impact of it, and students are not coming to the schools. So now let's see how what are the some ways we need to focus, which can help us to increase the enrollment. Uh, here are some ways uh, uh, we need to focus on the factors we need to focus on which can help us to increase uh, the enrollment. First is we need to build a presence within the community, uh, within the community and society and in front of parents how uh, they know about your school. Uh, it's very important to have this connection with pa uh, parents, especially a uh, deeper connection and personal collection, uh, connection with them. Then build a strong branding and messaging which convey what you what values you want to give them. Nurture the leads and which you can convert into the enroll uh, into the enrollment uh, into the enrollment in future. And use the effective communication channels. If we keep all these things in mind, it will it will impact. Uh, it will impact our uh, enrollment rate and we will get more uh, students. So I will give you an example of here uh, uh, Geoma. When Geo uh, launched this telecom, uh, telecom network, they have used the same strategies. They have nurtured the lead. So in the beginning, they offered this uh, network internet free and uh, now they have through this, they have nurtured the lead and later they started charging for it and they converted the lead. Uh, they have used strong uh, uh, branding and messaging through different uh, through different effective channels where they are talking what they are offering and uh, how uh, how it is useful for you. They will try to connect with the customer, what customers are facing, and we are offering the solution which can help you to resolve all these problems. And they have. Uh, with this uh, branding and effective communication channel, they build a strong present even though uh, they were already competitors in the market, but their messaging was so strong and their strategies was very effective. They still able to build a strong presence within the market and able to crack the market. So similarly, if we'll keep all these things in mind, we will also able to increase the enrollment of our schools and the one way to do this, uh, uh, to increase the enrollment and uh, apply all these things is by the school marketing. So we need to focus on the school marketing if we want to increase the enrollment and we need to apply or implement all these factors. So let's move ahead and see uh, what school marketing is. So uh, marketing uh, for uh, schools is the process which helps you to attract the parents, not only attract the parents, retain their loyalty, they just be with you like the Geo did, right? They were not just attracted the parents, uh, so not just attracted the customer, they made them more loyal. Even I am the person who, you know, uh, buy their free SIM, but I still their customer. So, uh, so like they have retained me with the different strategies. Uh, marketing is about actively maintaining a favorable image and school reputation, uh, reputation in within the community and in front of parents. So they feel uh, it should give them this credibility and they can trust on this school. Uh, marketing is a you know continuous process, right? It which needs a, pro a proper planning and strategy how you want to introduce yourself within the mar uh, market, and it goes throughout the year, not just at the end of the year. And marketing is a uh, for a school is trying to attempt to build a brand. Uh, uh, through this uh, regular engagement with the parents in community, your through different campaigns, you are involving with the parents, and it, it is creating a you know brand identity and brand image in their mind and in front of them. Uh, so what we have been like, you all have all you have shared, you have uh, you know used different strategies, and still uh, there was no impact. So what is not uh, we don't call this marketing uh, is marketing is not a last minute exercise. Uh, exercise as I uh, said this is a year around the year activity which needs proper planning strategy if you have a, if you want to enroll uh, your school uh, students in July 
you cannot just um, let's go, uh, uh, you cannot just start marketing one or two uh, months before you need you need to have proper planning and strategy throughout those years so you can uh, see the result at the end uh, school marketing is not just creating the design and sharing them with the community the pamphlets and the advertise uh, the pamphlets and folders we share with them uh, marketing is not just sending uh, your teachers to door to doors which generally schools uh, uh, used to increase the enrollment, but marketing is not, not just about it. Uh, marketing is not similar to advertisement. In advertisement, we are just promoting your product. In marketing, you're communicating what you believe in it. So let's move ahead and see uh, what school marketing is. So school marketing is you're active, actively communicating and promoting your purpose and values to the society and to the parents and to the students you believe in. You believe in it. Through marketing, you are communicating your school vision, your school mission, and how the culture says. So one of in one of our webinars, uh, we have talked about how you can build this, you know, uh, uh, school vision, how you can draw this school mission and the school culture. But through school marketing, you are communicating whatever the, you believe the school vision you have, a school mission you have through the through the parents uh, or promoting it through the various channels and various strategies. So how uh, this school marketing can help you to improve the school reputation within the community? So if you're doing this school marketing, it will help you to understand the, what is impacting your school reputation. Maybe you have few customer, a uh, few parents who are not happy with their, uh, your school services and they're spreading this negative, uh, negative impact on the other parents. So it will help you to understand what is impacting your school reputation, uh, reputation. Is this your service or the, uh, the parents you have? And uh, marketing will help uh, uh, will help you to have this continuous uh, continuous feedback with all the stakeholders. It will help you to understand like what, how these are uh, all the stakeholders uh, stakeholders are perceiving uh, your uh, school and what the uh, school reputations are in front of them. Uh, school marketing will uh, uh, help you you know getting involved within the community through the various activities which will definitely improve your, when you're getting more connected with the parents definitely it will improve your school reputation uh market uh, school marketing will help you to uh, amplify the amplify your work or strength of your school increase the strength of this uh, within the community and it will impact your school reputation and school marketing will help you to differentiate what uh, different you are doing from the uh, from the other competition or the existing schools, and it will definitely impact your school uh, reputation. So through these things, by these factors, school marketing can improve your uh, school reputation. Uh, let's move ahead and see uh, more uh, in detail what the school marketing stages are so uh school marketing is the first stage is like market research here you're trying to understand about your uh, target your customers needs and what they what they want second uh is uh, once you have the data have this based on that then you're making this marketing strategy what things you need to highlight which can attract the parents and students and uh, last not the least implementation of the uh, implementation of whatever the strategies you make you have this effective channels which can uh, help you to you know reach out to the maximum parents and effectively uh, communicate what you want to communicate so one more important thing uh, we need to keep in mind when we are doing uh, school marketing through these stages. First is uh, this continuous uh, continuous feedback, right? Uh, if, uh, so like what if whatever the strategies you have made so far, if it's like impacting or not, or you have to rework on that. So how you can do this? This continuous feedback. So it is very important to have this. Uh, continuous checking and feedback whatever you're doing it's even like impacting and helping you to achieve your results or not so whenever uh, you are uh, thinking to do this uh, school marketing 
uh, with this step, one more thing is you need to keep in uh, mind is like have the goals for it. So you can set the short term goals and long term uh, long term goals for uh, this. Short term goals is what you want to achieve within the year or six months, and long term goals you want to see your school in the future. So uh, stamp, uh, let's see the sample. What can be the short term goals for it? Like increase the admission. Uh, retain the stu uh, uh, existing students you have increase more visibility and having more connection within the community more involvement these can be a shorter goal and these uh, shorter goals can impact your longer uh, long term goals uh, so it will uh, a long term goals uh, will be the brand building identity of your school within the community how the parents are seeing it community perception about your school reputation and if you want to open something, uh, if you want to open the franchise, so whenever you're doing this, please have this, keep these short term and long term goals. Uh, whenever you're uh, doing this uh, uh, school marketing, let's move ahead and see every stages in details, what we can do and how we can uh, implement all these things. So we'll start with the marketing research. Before I start with this, I would like to know from all of you, uh, what are the motivational fact, uh, factors of the parents to enroll at your school? For that, I am publishing a, um, publishing a poll. You can see that in front of your, uh, in on your mobile and in your laptop. Please participate on that. I have just launched the poll. They're getting the responses. I will wait for more 30 more seconds. Also, Girija, uh, there are some participants who have raised their hand. Uh, yeah, sure. Navneet Kumar Singh wants to speak up. Uh, can we just unmute? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, Navin, sir, I have given you, uh, Nav Navdeep, sir, I have given you permission. You can speak now. You have to unmute from your end as well. So you have to unmute yourself. I want to speak in Hindi, madam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bilkul, sir. Bilkul, Hindi, we both, sir. Uh, madam, I West Bengal se belong karta hu. Mm -hmm. Aur, I am a residential school. Yes, sir. So, sabhi logo ne, aur mere aspas ke jitne bhi school se hain, सबों को कोरोना में बहुत ज्यादा क्षति हुआ रेसिडेंशियल स्कूल होने के कारण आ, हमारे एडमिशन में ग्रोथ हो गया जी जी सर का फायदा हम थोड़ा सा रिस्क कवर किए थे और पेरेंट्स का सपोर्ट था आ, जब स्कूल पेंडेमिक में बंद भी था उस समय लगभग हम 100 बच्चों को रख करके अपने हॉस्टल में विद पूरा सिक्योरिटी के साथ में बच्चों को पढ़ा रहे थे तो पेरेंट्स पेरेंट्स का सपोर्ट मिला थोड़ा लोकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का भी सपोर्ट था तो स्कूल रन अच्छे से कर रहा किया और उसका फायदा यह है मैडम कि अभी हमने सेकंड ब्रांच बनाने के लिए 14000 स्क्वायर फुट का कंस्ट्रक्शन चालू किया जिसमें ढाई महीना में वन फ्लोर का ढलाई कर दिया कास्टिंग कर दिया तो मैडम हमको सबसे बड़ा चीज जो लगता है किसी भी स्कूल को चलाने के लिए अपना 100% डेडिकेशन देना होगा और जिस एरिया में हम मैडम काम कर रहे हैं वो सेमी रूलर एरिया है थोड़ा फी कम है बट इतना तो जरूर है कि एक प्रिंसिपल और एक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन उसमें अच्छे तरीके से सरवाइव कर लेगा वहीं पर बहुत सारे स्कूल्स हैं मैडम जो कि 
कोरोना के बाद बंद हो गए तो उनमें और हम में अंतर क्या था कि हम कोरोना में भी कंटिन्यूस काम कर रहे थे हमने ये नहीं कभी सोचा कि मेरा स्कूल बंद हो जाए हम ये सोचे कि इस समय हम अपने आप को बेटर कैसे कर सकते हैं लगातार पेरेंट्स से मिलना और ये जो चूंकि हमने जिस स्तर पर काम किया था वो मिडिल क्लास लोअर मिडिल क्लास बोल सकते हैं बट अभी जो बिल्डिंग हम बना रहे हैं सेकेंड ब्रांच स्कूल का जिसमें नाम अलग करेंगे और एक तो अपना रेपुटेशन मैडम है ही मार्केट में तो सोच रहे हैं कि इसको अलग तरीके का रूपरेखा दें तो आपका हमने फेसबुक पर देखा था ऐड चल रहा था वर्क ना करके तो हमने आपके साथ जुड़ा तो मैं तो हमको सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम मैडम है कि स्कूल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बेटर करना है और पेरेंट्स भी हमारे स्वप्न में स्वप्न देख रहे हैं तो आपका सपोर्ट हमको कहाँ तक और किस चीज में मिल सकता है मैडम और इसके लिए हमको क्या करना uh okay uh, first thank you sir for sharing your thoughts it's good to know uh, you have uh, you know you have done something which helped you to you know uh, like increase the enrollment even the other schools were facing the problems uh sir aapko jo bhi ek to at the end hum log is pe baat karenge ki aap kaise apne aap ko aur develop kar sakte hain and at the end we'll share uh, email id uh, ईमेल आईडी विद यू जहां पर आप जाके इसके बारे में और हम किस किस तरीके से सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं वर्तना क्या सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं इसके बारे में जाके जानकारी ले सकते हैं थैंक यू सर ओके सो यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट ऑन योर ऑन योर स्क्रीन मोस्टली पीपल हैव सेड द मोटिवेशन वन ऑफ द मोटिवेशन फैक्टर फॉर द पेरेंट्स आर द क्वालिटी एजुकेशन देन वी हैव अ स्टूडेंट परफॉर्मेंस देन वी हैव अ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर देन द स्टाफ क्वालिटी सो यस ऑल दीज आर दीज आर द motivational factors uh, for the parents to enroll in uh, in the schools and these factors can uh, differ different for uh, different for the different parents so it is very important for us to understand what factor is for which uh, parent is so it is very important for us to understand the customer so must we understand the uh, parent and when we are saying understand the customer and their needs it means understanding their motivation and their need and what is their driving uh, factor so whenever we try to make any uh, decision we always have uh, some motivation fact, uh, factor or drive which uh, you know uh, push us to buy something uh, for example if i i want to buy a car so uh, my motivation factor can be uh, like do i want for this my personal use Or do I want for this for the professional use? If I want this for my personal use, so I will look how many how many sitters it is, right? Seven sitters, four, uh, four, five sitters, and depending on my need, I want to take that decision. And on the professional, I will see the mileage and other things, and depending on that, I will take the uh, I will take the decision. So uh, similarly for the with the parents as well, you know, whenever they are enrolling uh, in their uh, in another school or shifting. their to uh, their children from the another school there always is some uh, kind of motivate uh, motivation factors which is driving them to take that decision so uh, it is very important to understand uh, these driving uh, factors their motivation factor track them and work accordingly so uh, many uh, maybe some of uh, school, maybe schools have this information this data already what are their motivation factors are? or if you want to uh, collect this um, uh, what are, what are their motivation factors are you can uh, do this by uh, marketing uh, research so uh, marketing research is a organized effort to gather the information about the market uh, about the target market so the customer the parents uh, how uh, you know to understand what they are preferences are 
like what is their satisfaction level what the price point they are looking for how uh, your uh, how your competitors advantage you can you can use for right and what can be your selling points so it will help marketing research will help you to understand the preferences and motivation factors uh, of uh, the customers which can help you to uh, work accordingly and for the future so when we are doing this marketing research it is very important for us to target our customers and do a uh, market this uh, marketing research based on that so uh, for a uh, school the tar target customers uh, can be if you want to target your customer and you enroll students from within your area or maybe 10 km from that area these can be your uh, target customers and maybe you want to uh, you know target customer at the low Uh, low income or uh, uh, low income parents high income parents and middle income parents so it is very important to first target the customers you want to uh, you know look for uh, so uh, so you can make your further uh, strategies based on that because uh, uh, different customers can have different motivation factors and these uh, 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 factors uh, or driving factors can be their cost quality and school reputation so if our customers who is from the lower income uh, le uh, level or parent who are uh, from this rural background or lower income maybe for them the motivation factor can be the cost when they are looking for this school uh, they want to see how affordable this school is for them school uh, reputation and brand is in matter uh maybe they will pay a little bit of uh, you know uh, preference to the quality but cost is something uh, based on that they uh, make the decision uh, for the higher income uh, because they have income they don't uh, worry about this cost factor but the school reputation and school brand they are looking for so it is very important to first start uh, tag your right customer and make uh, and do the research so it will give you a result which can help you to uh, move further and work accordingly so here we have talked about um, customer motivation and uh, target customers so let's move ahead and see how we can do this uh, marketing research so uh, when we get uh, how we uh, we are doing this marketing research it is very important to have the research object objective and what we want from this marketing research to achieve so uh, and uh, you it is uh, you can have different themes for it for example you can see four themes and four uh, uh, research objective which we are are uh, trying to know more about the uh, through this we will try to know more about the customer uh, so first can be customer segmentation who are the our target customer what are their income levels are uh, identification uh, you know in this you are trying to identify Uh, identify their primary focus for the school second is uh, the uh, objective can be demographic uh, demographic profile the seg uh, customer segment you are seeing what their uh, demographic profiles look like like you know, number of household number of children they have uh, and the target segment and position how you can then you know position yourself uniquely uh, uh, based on that and third uh, you Uh, you can look to the stakeholder preference uh, preferences of your customers or parents preferences whenever they are making any decision what are their preferences is it education quality and affordability and last not the least it is very important to see your what your competitive schools within the area is offering to the parents uh, and who are these schools are so like this you can have a research objective when you are doing this marketing research it will help you to give more direction in which direction you can go and how uh, you can uh, conduct this uh, market research so uh, you can conduct this uh, market research uh, by phone or uh, by uh, by calling the parents and you can have in person interviews with them and you can conduct the surveys uh, you can provide them printed uh, surveys or online surveys on whatsapp and facebook and you can have this group discussion with the parents you can call the ptm meetings and you can discuss on the various topic and try to understand what they are what their preferences are so 
this is how you can uh, you know set your research objective and by these uh, by these methods or tools you can conduct a market research so let's move ahead and see sample uh, uh, sample of market research, uh, research tool if you're doing a um, uh, research for customer motivation and their preferences how your question that question I can look like so in that you can you know ask them what you made shift you, uh, your child to the other school when you are choosing any particular school what are uh, what are the reason for this is the better quality affordability better safety and health are you satisfied with your new uh, your school and which school you are shifting so it will help you to through this question uh, you can you will know what is a uh, customer uh, motivation what they what their preferences are so, so far we have talked about to understand the customers and the, what their motivation factors and preferences are. Along with this, it is very important to do research, market research on your competitors uh, as, well, uh, as well. So competitive research is you are gathering the information. Who are your competitors school within the area? What they are doing differently? How their uh, you know community per uh, perceiving them, and uh, it will help you to you know identify your competitive advantage. So here I think in the beginning I have mentioned about the uh, Geo right how they have launched their product. So when before launching their product they also did the competitive research. Uh, so what the idea uh, Airtel and the idea. Uh, idea companies are offering to the customers and how we how we can do differently from them so uh, when you are doing this uh, competitive research keep two things uh, two questions in mind what uh, your client uh, your customer uh, your existing school your competitive school is trying to communicate to his stakeholders through the schools and various strategies and the second is how they are work, how what they are doing to improve improve their school. So for example, uh, for example, I uh, talked about the geo, right? So uh, here they have did this uh, marketing research, um, research and try to understand what Airtel and Volta uh, uh, Airtel are doing uh, to communicate uh, to the uh, uh, customers and where they are lacking, what they their improvement area. So their improvement area, one of them. Even though they are providing the internet packages, but they, they were very expensive. So, like this, uh, you can also do this uh, competitive uh, research within your uh, school area. So, here you can see a sample. Uh, so, when you are doing this competitive research, you can uh, measure that uh, competitive school based on these parameters, their vintage, uh, education quality, and their infrastructure. And if you want, you can add other parameters as well. So uh, see, uh, like uh, based on that, you can rate them and see what they are doing better and what they are improvement areas. So here you can see a uh, DF uh, matriculation schools. Uh, they are uh, very old school, 41 years old school. Uh, their education quality is better than other or uh, two schools, but their one of the improvement area is the infra infrastructure. They are not doing that great as compared to the ABC matriculation schools. So here they are improvement here and here you can uh, hit the, uh, hit it and attract the parents to add this in your uh, in your school. So this is how you can use this competitive research uh, to know more about your what your uh, competitive. Uh, competitive schools are doing within the area so before a uh, move ahead uh, now i would uh, i'm uh, releasing a poll and i would uh, i would request to all of you to request uh, participate on that i want to know what do you think what are the customer uh, satisfaction uh, satisfaction parameters are Uh, I have uh, just released a, 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 a poll you can see in front of your screen. So what do you think are the parameter of customer satisfaction?
I will wait 30 more seconds. Okay, uh, so here are the results. So one of the customer um, pa satisfaction parameter is uh, like positive feed, uh, positive feedback, what they are talking about you, their loyalty, then word of mouth, and then increase in the admission. These are the uh, parameters uh, which can, uh, you know, help you to understand how, uh, how much satisfied your customer are. So it is when we are doing this market research, it is very important for us to understand what our customers are thinking and how much they are satisfied with us. So uh, customer satisfaction, you are trying, uh, you are measuring how happy uh, your parents are satisfied with your school services and capabilities and why it is important uh, to measure because it will help you to assess how uh, how much your parents are satisfied and happy of with the different aspect of your school are they happy with the education uh, education quality or are they happy with the infrastructure and how it will help uh, to the school so it will help uh, to the school to understand customer satisfaction at different level and different grades there are chances uh, primary uh, parents are more happier than the secondary uh, secondary grade parents it will help you to uh, draw these conclusion, uh, which are the highlighting thing of your schools, right? It, uh, what is more appealing is the infrastructure, teachers capability. It will help you to know more about your school. Uh, uh, it will help you to make this target uh, important decisions. So if you're doing conducting this, uh, if you're trying to know customer satisfaction, you will get to know, you know, which things they are happy and which thing they are not happy. Example, like maybe uh, they are happy with the infrastructure, but they are not happy with the transportation. So you need to work on this transportation. You can take the decision for the transportation, hygiene, and other extracurricular activities. And definitely it will help you to uh, improve customer overall uh, satisfaction level. So how we can uh, do this and how we can measure this uh, customer satisfaction? So uh, you can, uh, schools can use this net promoter uh, score to measure uh, customer satisfaction. Uh, uh, and through this uh, NPS, you are trying to understand, uh, you are measuring customer's loyalty and their satisfaction with, for you, from your school by asking them different questions. And it will also help you to identify who are your promoter of the schools and who are most loyal of parents you have for your schools. So, uh, here, uh, uh, for example, whenever we go for any shopping to the mall, pantaloons, this side, or whenever we are like, you know, uh, using any mobile application, at the end, they ask us to rate our experiences. So, it will help them to understand how much we like their services and where they can uh, improve themselves. So, similarly, you can also ask the parents who are the part of your school right now and even in the previously who experienced uh, your school services, you can ask them to rate uh, themselves uh, based on the uh, scale of zero to 10 uh, and how much they like the, uh, the, the school and how likely uh, you know they like to recommend the school to any friend or relatives. So it will help you to understand how, how they are feeling it. So zero is the, at the lower and the 10 is uh, 10 is the, the highest. So how you can, once you have this score, you have asked this question to them, how you can measure their net promoter score is. So uh, the people, uh, the parents who have scored you between nine to 10 are their uh, promoters. And the uh, parents who have uh, uh, rated you between zero to uh, zero to six, they are, they are your detectors. So uh, if you want to know a score about uh, your net promoter score, uh, deduct uh, detractors from the promoters, it will give you the picture how, uh, you know, how satisfied your parents are with your school. 
with your schools. So, uh, for example, from the uh, out of 500, uh, you have conducted this survey with the 500 parents, and the mostly parents are uh, have rated you uh, nine to ten. They are promoted as uh, 300, and the detectors are 200. So, uh, if you minus uh, 300 minus 200. Uh, your, your score is 100 it means you have uh, it's a positive side uh, positive side parents are satisfied with you and uh, if you have more detectors uh, it's uh, just uh, opposite of it like 300 uh, detectors and uh, uh, 200 uh, promoters so your score will be more 100 negative side it means parents are not very happy with the schools and we need to work on the how we can improve this so uh, promoters, they have more promoters. You can, uh, they are your brand ambassador of your schools. They have positive things to talk about you. And these are your, you know, potential parents which can refer your school to the uh, other, other parents. Uh, if detectors are, they are not satisfied with the school. They are not happy with the services the schools is provide, uh, providing and they are likely to leave and they can have this negative influence on the potential uh, parents who are thinking to you know enroll your schools so net promoters is a strong loyalty matrix which will help you to understand who are your loyal extreme loyal customers uh, so i would like to know from all of you have you ever done this customer satisfaction survey not with this net promoter score or with other uh, other mediums, you have other score which can help you to understand, you know, how uh, much your parents are happy with your schools and school services. You can raise your hand if you want to share something on this, and you can uh, uh, share your thoughts on the Q and A as well. If you have done something like uh, before uh, with your the parents to you know measure their satisfaction level. Okay, uh, let's uh, move uh, ahead with the presentation. So. Uh, uh this is the uh, if you want to uh, measure your customer satisfaction uh, satisfaction level this is a sample uh, sample survey question you can ask them to rate themselves on the scale of 1 to 10 how satisfied they are how likely to recommend your school to the other school why they are scoring and why you decided why they have decided to send their uh, child to your school how we can improve what do you like about your school so this is the way you will uh, come to know what are uh, what the how much customers are satisfied with your school and what are your improvement areas so uh, we have talked about uh, how we can conduct this marketing research to understand our customers and what they are uh, like you know what they uh, what their needs and motivation factors are what competitors are doing and what uh, how much our uh, parents are satisfied with the schools and what can be the improvements area uh, once we have uh, this it is second step to uh, use this data to make the marketing strategy marketing strategies Somebody is trying to speak. Uh, how uh, you can uh, use this uh, data to uh, uh, make this marketing strategies. So uh, it is very important for us when we are making this uh, marketing strategies uh, to you know communicate to value to them. If somebody is trying to speak. Okay. Uh, I think. I'm just disabled. Okay, thanks. Uh, so uh, it is very important uh, using these strategies to communicate the value of your school. 
of your school and what you believe in something so based whenever you're making the strategies for your marketing strategies for school it is very important to communicate what uh, the value you are thinking uh, and you want to communicate to the uh, parents for example uh geo wanted to communicate that uh, value of the affordability right they wanted to make uh, the uh, customers know they can afford the, um, the geo uh, this internet uh, uh on lower prices that is the one of the uh, 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 value they wanted to communicate uh, their uh, customers and they have designed their all the strategy marketing strategies based on that so for that uh, the marketing strategies you can uh, see uh, you can use this four uh, piece of marketing uh, place price promotion and product so uh, in product uh, it is one of the main core thing whenever making the uh, marketing strategy uh, marketing strategies uh, we need to focus on our product what are our products features and how uh, based on the data whatever we have collected uh, is it are they even uh, make, uh, you know matching the needs of the parents and how we can uh, uh, improve that our, uh, our products uh, so product here is about your school uh, school right so uh, school details like uh, how old that school is uh, what is the board you have you know uh, like academic uh, facilities what pedagogies you have what uh, pedagogies in teaching and learning uh, style you are using quality of your uh, quality of your teachers what extracurricular activities uh, uh, you are you have to offer to the students other facilities bus playground safety so whenever you are making any strategy please keep this in mind whatever you you have in your school it should be communicated effectively to the parent uh, to the parents and uh, they should perceive what you want to uh, try to say second is a uh, pr uh, uh, pricing so it is very important to keep uh, the pricing factor also in mind when you're planning this marketing strategy what price you want to communicate uh, to the parents through these strategy uh, through these strategies so they should feel is it affordable or is it a bit expensive so so keep this pricing factor in your mind when you're uh, promoting uh, when you're uh, ma doing this marketing strategy so are you of uh, you can uh, or for the additional facilities uh, price facilities you're offering to them are you offering to any discount on other related benefits your basic price and fees uh, and another is the place so whenever you are uh, making this uh, marketing strategies it is very important to understand about the place as well what are your target uh, customers so based on that you will communicate about your school and the pricing to that customer are you like you know uh, uh, targeting the customer of rural area for them the marketing strategy product uh, so product and price can be different uh, which which can attract them and for the rural urban area uh, urban area it can be different and for the different uh, income segment it can be different then uh, we have the promotion uh, so it is one of the important for the marketing strategies whatever the product price and the place you have selected it is very important how you are communicating and promoting about your uh, 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 your value to them with the effective channels so how you are highlighting uh, the you know special thing uh, special strength of your schools uh, what how you are promoting what channels you are using is the digital marketing door to door marketing so it is very important to promote uh, uh, promote your uh, value uh, the product as well with the price and the for the correct uh, place as well so by using this you can design uh, keeping all these four p's in your mind you can design the marketing uh, uh, strategy so as i mentioned product is something in school Pro here here products as a school is very important uh, for uh, uh, to highlight so what is strategies we can use to highlight the pro uh, highlight the product so we can have this unique selling point so a unique selling point is the value proposition which talks which is communicating your statement in information uh, to the students or to the parents how you're going to help the students and how you're going to uh, solve their problem so for example we all know the domino uh, we all know about the domino 
so domino's a unique selling point is fast delivery uh, so they are claiming we will uh, provide you pizza or whatever you are ordering within the 30 uh, 30 minutes that that is their selling point because if i'm hung, uh, uh, if the if i'm hungry if and i want to eat something it is very important for me it should come as much as uh, possible in a fast way right so that is their unique selling point whatever you are ordering we are serving you hot and within the 30 minutes with others are uh, for if you are ordering from others you have to at least wait for 45 minutes or 1 hour even you are cooking something or you are going out there, it will going to take a time but here we are delivering you something fast uh and i think is geo we have talked about the geo lot they are a uh, uh, unique selling point is the affordability and digitalization uh we all are from this uh, education sector so we all have heard about the byju's so uh, uh, can anybody share like you know what do you think what is their uh, unique selling point when they are reaching out to the parents and to the students what they are trying to say to the parents you can share on the chat box uh, as well and you can raise your hand if you want to speak on this what do you think what is the byju's unique selling point what they are trying to communicate to the parents through this unique selling point okay let's uh, go ahead uh, let's go ahead if we uh, if we have no one to uh, share their thoughts so uh, byju uh, so unique selling point is love learning so we are uh, their pinpoint uh, pain pinpoint is, is uh, parents generally have this complaint uh, even after, especially after covid uh, students are too much on this uh, mobile phone a mobile uh, mobile phone they they don't want to learn they don't they don't like to learn they don't like to uh, study right so they are providing them a solution uh, which can uh, you know convert this learning they will start uh, love they will start loving the learning so so they are providing this online learning so we are the parents have this problem uh, uh, they have this issue with using their mobile phone so they won't <clears throat> play the games now they will, if they are using the mobile they will learn something out of it so through this <clears throat> this is one of their uh, selling points so uh, we need to keep these things uh, in uh, uh, in mind when we have uh, designing a unique selling point what we want to communicate and help uh, to the uh, to the parents and the students they are uh, uh, whenever we are de designing a uh, uh, unique selling point uh, uh, two three things we need to keep in mind first what your school does well what your parents want from your school <clears throat> what competition uh, competition schools are doing well so keeping uh, whenever you are making uh, your uh, coming to identify your unique uh, selling point keep these three things in your mind and your unique selling point will be uh, what your school does well and what your parents want from the school so for example uh, parents are facing this issue of the transportation they are not uh, they don't have uh, they don't have time they cannot go and uh, you know drop this uh, drop students and pick up them from the time so but and you have uh, this transportation you have buses and other uh, transportation service so uh, your unique selling point can be uh, like we are providing this door pick up and drop service to the students you don't parents don't have to worry about their transportation anymore so this is the way you can identify your unique selling point and once how this unique selling point is going to help you uh definitely uh, uh it will increase the enrollment because you are uh, giving them this information how it is going to solve their problem and help them help the students and the parents what uh, the issues they are facing it will help you to differentiate from the mark uh, from the market and help to parents to make the right decision when they are choosing the school uh it will uh, give this 
clear expectation uh, clear expectation because through this unique selling point you are giving them information what you are uh, what you are going to do uh, uh, what you are good at and what you are going to do and based on that they are going to make the decision uh, here are a few uh, examples uh, which you can use for your uh, uh, unique selling point uh, you can highlight about your board affiliation it is cbsc and state board and isc then you can highlight about the school type then you can highlight about the curriculum it's a different curriculum. you have syllabus for different level different learning pedagogies then you can highlight about this uh, p range it can be different for uh, uh, different uh, uh, grades and you have this discounts and other things and you can um, highlight about your resources your infrastructure teachers and extracurricular activities so whenever you are deciding this uh, identify your uh, uh, unique selling proposition keep two questions in mind first is what is the primary factors for your school to stand out from the competition and you can uh, use these parameters it is like infrastructure teaching management or parent engagement which you are doing uh, different uh, from the uh, competitive schools and second question why do parents enroll uh, or choose your school for the uh, students enrollment enrollment and uh, these you can measure again on this infrastructure teaching manage teaching quality management and parent engagement here uh, is the example like uh, of unique selling point if you have a much higher vintage so your unique selling point can be a uh, 35 years of academic excellence another if you have a cbsc affiliation your unique uh, selling point can be number one cbsc school in this particular area so uh, this is how uh, you can uh, identify your unique selling point and communicate about your product uh, pro to uh, about your school to the uh, to the parents so they get the information what you are trying to say and how you are going to resolve their problem what they are facing uh now i would like to know from all of you uh, do you think what uh, what is your school's unique selling point uh, so for that you can uh, you know uh, you, uh, you can use the chat box what do you think what is your school's unique uh, selling point which is different from the competitor if you want to speak please raise your hand we can unmute then you can speak as well uh, if you have any unique selling point you think that school has it and it is different from the other other competitors which is helping you to stand out from the mark uh, from the mark, uh, community uh, please share with us you can share uh, by uh, in within the q a box as well and you can raise your hand i can see uh with mandal uh, i have given you permission uh with mandal sir uh, if you want you can speak Yes, ma'am. In my school, ma'am, I have seven types of uh, learning styles, ma'am. To mm -hmm. the DMIT, Avakas Gyan, Vedic Math, and uh, mm -hmm. handwriting, ma'am. All mm -hmm. through these, all the unique selling point is coming from my school, ma'am. Uh, thank you for sharing it, yeah. Because you have seven different uh, teaching styles, which can be, you know, attract parents to. You, you have different teaching style for the different uh, students and uh, you know it can cater their needs as well thank you uh, thank you for sharing this yes ma'am yes ma'am okay uh we have one two more hand raised uh Srinivasar, i have given you permission to speak you can unmute yourself and speak Uh, Srinivasa, I have given you permission to speak. You can unmute yourself and speak. You have to unmute yourself if you want to speak. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Yeah. Madam, uh, I am very happy to participate in this meeting. Last two times onwards, I am trying, but with my busy schedule, I am unable to attend this meeting, but this time, uh, very fortunate. And my school unique points are the 
uh, here we are implementing the five point system madam uh, for mm -hmm. the pre primary the teacher has to give the only five points for the class work and five points for the homework there is no burden for anyone mm -hmm. that in that only they need to give the illustrations homework assignment like that only Mm -hmm. And we have the laughing club in school also, madam. In the morning, early morning, uh, mm -hmm. first period, there is no academics, only uh, spoken English one day, one day, different activities. The first mm -hmm. period, 8.30 to 9.20, we are maintaining the uh, individual uh, classrooms, individual activities for uh, day-wise. Mm -hmm. So the student is uh, happy to attend for the first, very first period. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the Wednesday and Saturday activities along with the teachers, they will attend for the sports uh, hour. Mm -hmm. Yes, these are some unique points we are maintaining, madam. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, so much, sir, for taking out for taking out your time and you know participate in the webinar. And thank you for sharing what are your unique points and you know uh, which can uh, helping parents to reduce their burden uh, their burden uh, their homework burdens etc thank you sir for sharing thank you madam uh, dubba luka i have uh, given you permission to speak now you you have to unmute yourself and then you can speak Uh, Dubalaka, you have to unmute yourself and then speak. I have given you permission to speak. Okay. I think he, they are, he or she is facing some issues. Hello, is it audible, my voice? Yeah, yeah it is audible, yeah. Uh, this is Jhansi Dhani, principal of New Saint Maria. Of course, I am the existing customer of Vartana Finance also. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you people have helped us in time. Uh, that's really grateful. And my school unique selling point is every student of New Saint Maria able to speak fluently in English. Even kindergarten, nursery kid also speak very beautiful way. That is what they love. And whenever we ask why you are... Uh, uh, shifting your child from so-and-so school to our school, then they say the only one reason your school kids, they speak very beautifully in English. This is what our unique selling point. And really we're proud of it. Even a kindergarten child can narrate and read their own grade textbook without any uh, mistakes. And the picture reading for the kindergarten and uh, uh, primary school kids, they read their own uh, level textbook without any mistakes so this is what the one of the uh usb of our school thank you okay uh thank you ma'am for sharing this i think this is one of the main thing parents are looking uh when they are enrolling their uh, their students to the schools thank you for sharing uh i mean sir i have uh, given you permission to speak if you want to speak you can unmute yourself Hello, madam. Yes. Madam, we are providing computer education from uh, first standard to ninth standard, and then we are providing Vedic maths for uh, six to nine, and we are providing Balaganit for one to five. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from this, we are providing spoken English also, but still we are unable to get good. Uh, Entries, enrollments. Mm -hmm. okay. So, okay. so, what could be our next strategy for getting a good uh, enrollment? Okay. In spite of the, working on all those, all these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Like, so, we are talking about food on this unique set. Whatever you have, you need to highlight. And communicate to the parents or secretary so they can understand what you are trying to communicate to them. And whatever the solution uh, they are looking for, they are looking for what school is providing. Okay. 
and you can use this so whatever you have shared you you can use this as a your unique selling point uh try to try to understand your customers what they are looking for and what you have unique which you can offer to cater their needs will definitely okay. impact your uh, enrollment sir okay thank you madam thank you sir okay uh okay. all for your sharing let's uh let's move ahead with the session okay so so far we have talked about the strategies what we can uh, you know make uh to uh, uh, attract the uh, to attract the parents now the third step is how we what are the strategies we have make how we can implement them effectively so what approaches implement approaches we can uh, use uh, which we uh, which help us to achieve our goals so in the beginning uh, during the marketing uh, stages we have talked about the long term and short term goals so whenever we have this uh, uh, marketing uh, school doing marketing in school we have this uh, uh, short term and long term goals so based on that your approaches can be different for the short term goals and the long term goals you want to achieve so the uh, long term goals you can you uh, uh, school can use this above line marketing in this uh, our uh, long term goal is to create this brand uh, br uh, create this brand community perception and through this above line marketing you can build a perception uh, about your brand uh, about your school uh, you create the identity and you can aware the custom uh, aware uh, the parents about your schools in this you are not you are just uh, you are just informing about your school to the uh, to the parents you're just giving the information through this different uh, mediums to them you're not uh, here targeting to convert these leads you're just giving this information to them so it will definitely um, you are making them aware it will record in their mind maybe it will not have impact right now but in the future they want they are looking for something for the english me uh, they are uh, looking school which uh, providing this english uh, uh, english speaking classes and good at the english they are going to choose uh, they can choose your school so for example in the radios and tv uh, we have seen uh, this different different ad uh, advertisement for the companies they are maybe we are not directly going uh, we are going and purchasing something from them but that information is recording in our mind and this is the way they are creating the awareness about their brand so same you can uh, schools can use uh, this above line marketing uh, uh, different campaigns broadcast about uh, your school uh, in uh, your school name and the information just give the information to the, uh, to the parents so the your school name and identity will uh, record in their mind so uh, how it will help uh, and benefit to the school so in because we are using that broad uh, your broadcasting and just giving this information to the parents so you will reach uh, to the max to max uh, um you are uh, you will do it to the maximum uh, audience and uh, you are giving them this informations about your school so definitely uh, it will help uh, help to uh, uh, form this deeper connection with them because they are hearing about your school and they are seeing about your school again and again it is recording in their mind and it will uh, automatically impact their loyalty and brand uh, their school name recognition and definitely because you're providing this information through various medium it will shape your brand identity they will start recognizing about your school uh, 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 school and how uh, you can do that so you can advertise about your uh, school on this uh, by this outdoor advertisement you can uh, send this flyers banners holdings billboards you can give this ad in the online online platform on facebook on uh, instagram and on this newspaper magazines and websites you can broadcast through the radios and tvs here you just given the information to the parents and making aware about your schools so this is how you can uh, approach your long term goal which is you are want to do this brand building and changing the perception of the community for the short term uh, goals the approach can be the below line marketing 
uh, here in below uh, line through below line marketing you have different campaigns which is uh, targeting your potential cust uh, potential parents through various uh, campaigns and activities which can you know help them to conversion and return in the short term like short term goals like so our short term goals was increase the enrollment student retentions so keeping in this mind you are doing the campaigns and strategies which can help you to increase the enroll uh, increase the enrollment and more involvement with the community so uh, for example uh, here you can uh, give them a discount and uh, like for the particular day if they will enroll uh, the student in this particular day they will get a uh, 10% discount and 20% uh, discount or they are enrolling both the siblings in the same schools they are going to get this much of discounts and you are providing them a facility for the installment uh, fees so uh, you by through this market through this strategies you are target uh, targeting your customer, potential uh, parents who are going to convert immediate uh, immediate uh, immediately uh, to the your school and how it is going to benefit you so obviously uh, you are focusing on this short, short term goal if you are providing these facilities these concessions uh, to them uh, you will reach out to maximum uh, maximum uh, uh, audience with, within the less time uh, it will help you or uh, if you're doing this below line marketing, it will help you to uh, stand out your brand, what the other facilities you are giving them uh, to the parents. It will uh, help you to stand out from the market and stay ahead with them. Uh, definitely, it will improve your credibility uh, and authority of your brand in, in, within the community and in front of uh, parents as well. And what are the examples how you can do this? You can have this direct response, mark, uh, use this direct response marketing. So uh, uh, for example, if you are giving discount to uh, parents on this uh, admission fees or something, you can send the SMS to them, email them. Uh, you can use this social media marketing. You can advertise about this discount on this various social media marketing. You can conduct the events. There will uh, the events, competition, exhibitions, door-to-door -door campaigns. There you are giving them information about your school and what the other facilities you are providing them. You can have this telemarketing uh, approach as well. Uh, generally, we get this um, um, calls from the banks and the, from this uh, network uh, companies. They uh, they tell us and uh, they call us and tell about this uh, different offers uh, different offers they are providing us and when and giving this information many times you end up buying this at that time only and uh, a free product sample so uh, many companies provide this free product sample so as a school what you can do is you can conduct this demo classes here the parents and the students can come to your school and see uh, see the school uh, sit in the school and feel about the school and then they, immediately they can you know um, take the decision so this is how uh, you can achieve your uh, uh, short term goal and uh, long term goal uh, so you are you must have also use this different uh, strategies and you're trying to promote these strate uh, strategies to different channel uh, you uh, different channels so i would like to know from all of you what the channels you have uh, you for, uh, used to promote about your school so for that i'm uh, releasing a poll you can see that poll in uh, front of uh, front of you What promotion channels are you using to communicate with your parents? Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for your participation. So maximum uh, votes we have for the schools are uh, using to communicate with your parents is templates and ben, uh, tem uh, sorry WhatsApp and Facebook and then sorry WhatsApp and Facebook. Then we have templates and banner. Then we are uh, schools are using to uh, give newspaper ads as well. So these are the different ways uh, which uh, schools are using and school can use promote 
uh, about uh, promote uh, their uh, about their schools. Let's see what the these different channels what you you can use to you know promote your uh, communicate with your parents and promote about your school. One of this is the traditional marketing, which we have been uh, using from e years. So traditional marketing is using this offline channels, right? But even in the uh, this poll, you have said you are giving uh, this uh, advertisement in newspaper, holdings and banners. These are the offline channels you are using to communicate with your parents and promote about your schools and how uh, it benefits. Uh, or definitely because it has more personal touch with the parents uh, with the parents so it will build this personal connection with the parents uh, you are giving this a uh, new um, they can see uh, on this coding and this newspapers so it will definitely uh, create the trust and credibility among parents and uh, it is very e one of the very easy way uh, to reach out to your local uh, parents who are within this your 5 kilometer 10 kilometer areas uh, what can be the mode and what can be the activities schools can use for this traditional marketing so as you said, like uh, uh, somebody has voted about this print uh, advertisement through the newspaper, through the templates, banner strips, you can use that. You can provide this door-to-door -door campaign as well, promote about your school and give informations uh, to door-to-door -to -door campaign, going to door-to-door -to -door and giving this information to the parents. You can conduct this parent engagement events. Here you're talking about your not your schools, well, we are uh, 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 talking about how parents can, you know, support their uh, support their students at their home. And you're talking about the various uh, topics here in these events. You're, you can call outsiders as well, uh, outside the facilitators as well to talk on this. Then you can have this op uh, school open mela uh, where uh, the parents can come and see your schools and what pedagogies and teaching styles they are using. You can assist the uh, students and um, um, you know help them to understand at what level they are and how your school can support them to you know raise this level uh, you can conduct this inter school competition uh, inter school competitions where you're following uh, parents and the students from the different schools as well and this will definitely you know they're coming and they're seeing your school and what you are doing in your school uh, you can create uh, do this community awareness uh, as well on the different top, uh, on the different topics which can help a uh, community to understand uh, aware about what your school is doing uh, what your schools are doing uh, second uh, channel can be the digital uh, marketing as we all know this is the uh, era of technology and the use of this technology has increased especially after the covid now parents have more what they are more active on whatsapp uh, uh most uh, the now they have more mobile they are using more uh, mobile so you can uh, use this medium for your uh, market uh, for communicate with your parents and promote about your school so digital marketing you're promoting your products and services through uh, different digital channels like social media emails i think you have voted you're using the facebook and the whatsapp so how uh, it will benefit if you're using that uh, it is cost effective you don't in traditional marketing maybe you have to have few resources and you have to invest some money on it but in the digital marketing it's cost cost effective you don't have to invest anything you can reach to the uh, maximum parents through this uh, through this whatsapp and facebook uh, and other social me uh, mediums uh, and it will also help you to uh, measure your results as well so if you're sending any face uh, any messages to the parents you can measure how many parents actually has seen that how many uh, parents has visited your website so it will help you to understand how many parents are visiting and only how many are interested and how many are likely to convert so what modes and how you can uh, do uh, this you can um, i you can make this whatsapp group uh, of the parents and uh, and uh, send the messages on the whatsapp group uh, on facebook page you can have your own facebook a school page on Facebook, you can have your own website, uh, then you can conduct this online quizzes and assessment, send them on, you can send them on the Facebook, uh, Facebook or 
spots that they can student come and have you know a uh, 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 test their understanding uh, level and how uh, then once they have this result how you, your school can help them to you know improve these uh, levels then you can have uh, this uh, uh, send them this parent testimonial videos i think we have uh, in the beginning we have talked about the customer satis uh, satisfaction uh, customer satisfaction parameters of parents so you can use their videos testimonial videos and send out to the uh, send out to the parents to increase the enrollment uh, you can send out uh, these videos of your teaching how teachers are uh, teaching uh, within uh, within the uh, school and how it is impacting the students uh, you can send uh, videos on uh, you know home teaching tips to the parents so it will help the parents to understand what your school is doing and what values are you trying to communicate with them so depending on the target cast of parents you want to you want uh, you want to communicate local parents or the uh, more maximum parents uh, depending on them you can you uh, either you can opt for the digital market uh, digital marketing and traditional uh, traditional marketing so uh, so far we have talked about uh, different marketing strat uh, different mar uh, marketing strategies marketing risk how we can conduct marketing research and use this uh, different channels to implement see let's move ahead and see a case study how we can do that so here is a school sanskar public school which is 20 years old which was one of the leading school in their locality but what happened now this private tuition demand is automatically raised and they have seen this drop in their enrollment rate because now parents are sending student to the government school and if they want extra support they are sending a, st a student for the private tuitions so what the sanskar public school uh, can design uh, their mar uh, marketing strategies and how they can use this school marketing uh, first, they can uh, do this market research. So in this, they uh, they have these findings. Uh, they can ha they will find out this why parents are moving out because of the supportability and the personalized uh, learning. Because in their uh, uh, tuition, uh, this person is giving this one to one. Uh, they are having this one to one interaction, which is lacking within the school because you have the class of thirty and forty students another parents are not very satisfied with this uh, teaching learning method especially during the covid how the school was able to you know uh stop uh, how they are uh, teaching the uh uh to the students and another uh, they have done this competitive research as well how the competitions uh competitive schools are doing differently they have adopted uh the other methods as well apart from traditional methods it's such a uh, activity based learning now you have this uh, uh research find uh find these school have research finding so it is clearly saying the parents are uh looking for the portability and the personalized learning means pro product so you need to focus on two things here price and the product so you uh, a school can focus on developing and changing their learning model because here uh, the uh, parents are looking for more personalized learning so they can adopt a learning model which can offer more uh, flexibilities and uh, you know more uh, personalized learning for example blended learning uh, then uh, for the price uh, school can you know give them discounts installments financial uh, support they can tie up uh, they can tie up with this third party which can promote you know, can support them in financially and uh, third thing they can uh, do is this identify their unique selling point and um, highlight this in front of parents so they are like 20 years old they are one of the selling point can be uh, the uh, school vintage 20 uh, 20 years old they because the school is very old 20 years old so they have the experienced teachers and because the teachers are experienced then uh, they are dealing in this sector they know how to uh, they they have created this caring environment and the school is adopting the new technology new learning model as well which can help uh, school uh, uh, students to be more engaged for and how uh, they can do this promotion uh, promotion uh, uh, based on this marketing research their product uh, and unique selling point their tagline can be uh, where children will uh, uh, will learn and feel loved as uh, feel loved as well 
and they can uh, promote this tagline through various social media marketings. Uh, they can arrange, uh, school can arrange this free demo classes where parents can come and see it, how this, uh, how this, you know, children is uh, learning and feel loved as well. Uh, school can uh, give advertisement uh, advertising in newspapers and banners and pamphlets they can have uh, they can conduct a community event on the importance of uh, child ho holistic development so because if they are going to the tu uh, tuitions they are not developing holistically other things are also important other for example, other extracurricular activities are also important to develop the child and you can use this they can use this satisfied parent uh, uh, testimonials they can send out this teaching learning videos so this is how they can uh, uh, school can you know uh, do this uh, school marketing do the planning and its strategy and promote uh, about this about the school and target uh, target the uh, target the parents and increase their enrollment so so far we have talked about the different uh, marketing uh, different strategies which can help us to communicate with the uh, with the parents and increase the enrollment uh, along with this it is very important for us to uh, pay uh, attention what value we are providing to the parents uh, how um, uh, when they are selecting any uh, school or any school for their students to uh, their children how what value we are uh, school is adding to the parents and the students as well so let's move ahead and see how we can offer this value to the parents so uh, you uh, in this uh, school we need to do this value addition so uh, value addition is something you are providing additional features and sub, uh, additional features uh, to the parents which can you know encourage them to pay for it even they are paying for uh, paying for it they feel worthy of their whatever the fees they are giving so uh, for example whenever you buy any laptop uh, uh, so they provide us you know uh, like this free license software they provide us this uh, 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 like extra technical support so if i'm uh, purchasing something and they are uh, they, these are the additional features value added features they are giving me so even if i have to spend a two three thousand more for it i will end up doing that because they are providing me other things they are giving me additional services for that i have to go outside and purchase it but they are being with uh, with it it is making me feel what uh, even though i have had to pay extra i'm okay with that even whatever i pay it is worth it so school can also provide these uh, extra uh, features on this their service and capabilities which can uh, help uh, parents uh, to understand uh, more value and this value addition and how it will help uh, value adding definitely will help you to increase uh, to attract more parents because they are seeing more value in their schools. It will help to uh, in, enrich the parents' experiences. Uh, definitely, you are providing something extra to them. It will uh, build a strong, uh, uh, strong brand and reputation within the community, and it will help because you are providing them something extra which other schools are not providing. It will help you to differentiate from the market. And how you can do this? Uh, one, you can. Uh, uh, add value in the quality by different program services and you can tie up with the uh, third party which can help you to enhance the quality of your school and the another thing you can do is to provide the support services uh, to the parents which can make them feel school are doing something for them so for this value addition, keeping all these things in mind, uh, Vatna has also launched few programs which can help you to provide this value additions and uh, parents feel more worthy when they are choosing uh, your uh, school. So uh, first uh, program, we have Unlock School program. So every year, not, every year we have the, uh, students who are facing this learning loss, especially it has increased after the COVID. Schools have been doing this. Um, I'm pretty sure all the schools are trying to cater this need, this various teaching style. But this, if you are opting for this unlock school program, here uh, we are offering uh, this the printed learning materials 
and the supplementary videos which uh, for the subject english and math your parents are seeing this you are school are trying to do something uh, for the uh, for the students it is valuing adding value in their quality it is tangible in nature they can see okay schools are doing something and if they have to pay for it uh, for the ex, uh, for extra money they will willing to pay for it uh, another program we have is a smart free program as i said support services providing support services to the school uh, to, to the parents will uh, you know feel them more valued so in the smart free program uh, we are providing uh, interest uh, sorry we are providing loan to the parents on zero interest so if they are facing any issue to pay a uh, school fees they can pay this school fees and they will they have to uh, pay us back on this emi uh, emi basis so it will ease their burden so here it, uh, through this program you are providing them this extra uh, extra support you are uh, understanding what they are going through tying up with a th third party you are uh, adding the value to the parents uh let's move ahead and see we have another uh, vatana partners as well which can help you to add the value in uh, value first we have the lead program it is the integrated you know uh, innovative technology based learning solution they have uh, they are providing solutions for the all the stakeholders they are providing the curriculum uh, they have the innovative teaching learning methods they provide teachers training teacher support uh, as well and along with that they are doing the school marketing as uh, 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 as well uh, then another uh, program uh, we have karate pa so they are focusing on developing this english language so one of the concern uh, the parents have is how the school are improving the english language of the students so they are focusing on this development of english language by doing uh, by this, their innovative method uh, students will learn uh, the about english in a fun more engaging and fun way so they pro, they are providing the textbook teacher support and other learning materials as well. a uh, third partner we have nishal uh, nishal labs so even the nep is talking about this blended learning and this nishal lab can help you to have this blended learn uh, blend uh, set up uh, have this set up this blended learning model so they have this you know uh, they have this innovative and technology based lab, portable lab for english for math and science by uh, to this uh, uh, students do this hands on learning and project based learning uh we have a solution for uh, for management uh, solutions as well it will help to uh, uh supposed to equip so they can perform better and when the parents are coming and interacting with the uh, uh, with the school parents have more good experience and it is valuing uh, adding value to their to their experiences uh for uh, that one we have one learning partner is the kian so kian uh, it's the like innovative and technology based they help in uh, set up so innovative and technology based classroom they have a project uh, projector by using you can set up this virtual virtual classroom and they provide the online material as uh, as uh, as well along with this uh then we have digit so uh digit is providing security to your school buses if you if you get any accident and your bus is damaged and your school vehicle is damaged you uh, they are providing this uh, protection and security for this for for this this is have uh, for this they have this school bus insurance last one of the least uh, we have unipro so unipro is providing this uniform for the students and uh, for the staff uh, as well and they provide this in whole uh, they are this uh, wholesale uniform manufacturers suppliers and distributors within the uh, within the india within the india so uh, by these programs adding uh, opting for this programs you can add value to uh, to the parents and you can develop your school in more effect Um, effective and engaging way. 
if you want to know about know more about this program please write us on the uh, on this uh, email id hello at the rate whatnot.com and you can have this if you want to know more about it uh, you can uh, contact us on this so uh, in this webinar we have talked about the market uh, how we can conduct uh, this marketing research to understand our uh, customers then we have talked about how we can uh, come up with this unique sell, uh, selling point and how we can come up with different strategies, keeping four P's in mind. Then we have talked about how we can implement our strategy by using traditional marketing, digital marketing and uh, above line uh, approach and below line marketing approach. Let's move ahead and see Uh, how uh, we can uh, communicate this uh, uh, value to the parents. So one of the things now, this is the time of the 21st century, 21st century and our school should be equipped with the 21st century. Uh, so uh, in the beginning, I have mentioned we have one of our learning partner, UPL. They have uh, their school program, uh, School Mitra. In this, they have this integrated uh, curriculum and technology platform, which can help you to the set up 21st century school. So far, uh, from UPS, we have good meet with us today, and they will uh, he will take you us through this program in detail and how the school can benefit us from this. Uh, over to you, good meet. Thanks, Dirja. Uh, hello, everyone. A uh, very good evening to all of you. I am Gurpreet. I am one of, so I, I assume Grija, my voice is audible to you? Yes, yes. It is perfect, good. perfect. Hello everyone once again. Hi, I am Gurpreet. I am one of the co-founders of School Mitra. Uh, so School Mitra is a SaaS based uh, product. You know, we recently got acquired by UPS Learning. Okay, we provide the complete 21st century school OS, you know, to the schools. And, uh, you know, with, with our collaboration with, uh, you know, Vartana. So we are delighted, we are delighted to, offer the uh, you know the 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 system to the schools you know that can effectively help them manage their communication seamlessly with the staff with the parents and also manage the main critical part manage the day to day fees so the entire fee platform and the communication platform is being offered to all the uh, vartana clients to all the vartana uh, schools you know free of cost it's a value added services that is offered with collaboration with uh, Vartana and UPS Learning. Okay, so I will quickly move on to the actual solution. Share my screen. I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Uh, no, it's not visible. No, it's not visible. It's visible? No? Perfect, perfect. No, perfect. So in order to get started with School Mitra, okay, so uh, every school who wants to get themselves onboarded uh, to the School Mitra platform, we set up the account for the school. So we have the admin account. We have, we import all the teacher's data and we also import all the student's data. Okay, we give you a framework wherein you can effectively manage all of your data, be that be of students, be that be of teachers, and then can generate various reports, you know, periodically as per your requirement. So whenever the account is set up, the admin of the school who takes care of the platform is given a unique username and password. So I log on to the demo account. For the moment you log into a demo account. Okay. So the admin would see a panel for communication. Okay. And they would also get the privilege of fee. So it's a role based access. So if a school wants to give a separate login to the fee accountant, even that login can also be given to the school. Okay. So as I said, the schools, we import all this, we set up the school, we import all the teachers data, we import all the students data. So it become an effective solution for the school to manage all the students in a single panel. There's also an option that if in case, once you give a platform to the parents, once you start giving them Y labs, okay, that is available both on Android and iOS. 
So once you start furnishing communication, the parent gets a convenience to pay via mobile app. And at times, whenever you find that a parent is not paying the fees on time or because of some reason, you want to deactivate the mobile app. So even that right is given to the school. So with just an activate and a deactivate button, you can activate the account and deactivate the account as in you can enable or disable a parent from using the mobile app. So a detailed information of a particular child can be captured in the school Mitra platform. So I'll just go and edit and you would see a range of information that can be captured and all the historical data can also be imported, giving a overview, a 360 over a 360, 360 degree overview of a child to the school whenever they want. So complete admission detail of a child, his personal details that includes the address, the first name, last name, the current address and the permanent address, category, subcategory, caste, any special category, uh, caste category numbers. Okay. Nationality, mother tongue, Aadhaar number, even the BPL card, BPL certificate. Okay. All the personal details of a child is kept, is, is being captured over here. The details of a parent, the father detail, mother details, their occupation, their address, everything is being captured over here. The contact information of father and mother, along with the guardian information, the previous education details of a child. If he has come to, if he has joined the school and he has presented the TC of the previous school, if you want to capture a TC number, so all those details can be captured into one single panel, even the health details, including even the COVID certification. So each and every information of a child, the complete 360 degree information of a child can be captured and can be used by the school whenever they want. So this is the incremental process that a school uh, takes over. Okay. It's not a one day job. So whenever a school wants to set up a complete account of a child, the teachers have the privilege to download the Excel of, a, of all the students, upload the data in the Excel and can be handed over to the admin to import the data in the Excel format. So all those informations are available for the school to use. So sibling details, student details, as well as document checklist. Okay, so all the informations are available over here. Then same is a case of teachers. So you can see all your teachers, any information, for example, you want to add a new teacher. You can add each and every details about a teacher. Similarly, each and every information about any staff. So you can categorize the staff based upon the categories and department. You can add an authority. So it's a role based access. So everyone gets his, get his or her own app. So a parent get their own app. Same app, they can log into the platform. Teachers will log into the platform. The principal can log into the platform and can view the overall status of the school. So that is the add on advantage that a school gets. Now, once the data is managed, you see a communication panel wherein any sort of alerts you would like to send out to the parents can be done directly from here. So you can select the entire school or a specific class or a specific section as per your convenience. You have both the options. So if in case you want to send out an SMS and that to a bilingual SMS. So for example, you want to include an SMS in English or Hindi, you can choose any of the templates. All the templates are approved by try and all the messages that goes to the parents are transactional message. These are not promotional message. So rest assured, even if a parent has switched on a DND, even then they would be receiving the SMS. And if in case you want to save any on the SMS, you can also choose to send out mobile app notifications. That does not incur a single penny to the schools. So you can write the notification that you want to send to the mobile app, preview and submit as simple as that. Similarly, if in case you want to send out individual alert, you can send out individual alerts to kids from this platform. Then you have the school bulletin board. So any circular that a school wants to send out to the parents at large or to a teacher at large or to the entire school. The admin can add a bulletin. And when I say a bulletin or a circular, we not only mean an image or an audio, the school can go ahead and add the description, the uh, template of it, the any uh, link of the drive you want to attach as well as any file, be that be image, audio, video, whatever you want to attach can go as a form of digital circular to the parents. Okay, then we have the school calendar as the name says the school can schedule the entire calendar of the school, be that be academic or non-academic. 
the parents can view the academic calendar on their app as well as on the web login and same is the case with teachers and principal. So it becomes easy for the parents to keep a track of what all are the upcoming activities. Okay, what all are my non-academic activities as well as my academic activities. So less dependency on the diaries, but more dependency on the technology because it henceforth enables you to keep a track. It enables a parent to keep a track of the kids in a much more efficient way. Okay, so no more of children giving you tantrums that we have lost the diaries. Okay, we have lost certain circulars. Everything goes to the parents. It remains with them for the entire session. Then coming to the main part, that is the school fees. So you can activate the school fees and once the school fees is activated, you can set up the entire school details wherein you can add a categories. So all the categories of in which the fees is scheduled inside the school gets added over here. Now these handholding are done by the trainees of school Mitra team with each and every school individually. And we provide assistance, online assistance to all our school 365 days a year. So you need not take tensions that if in case we encounter a problem, who is going to solve our problem? So you have a dedicated staff who is going to help you out. How the fees is being set up, you set up the categories and then you choose the installment. So whether you want to schedule the fees in a monthly fashion, in a quarterly fashion, semi-annual fashion. So whatever installment you want to create and then for every installment, what is the due date that you want to keep? So for example, we have set up the installment on a monthly basis. So for the month of April, it starts on 1st of April and on 15th of April. So it ends on uh, 15th of April, but the due date for April is kept as 30th of April. That means post 30th, the fines will get levied to the parents if in case they are defaulters. So that's the relevance of due date. I hope since we all are from the same background, so we understand that all of us are used to these terminologies. Okay. Then once the school setup is done, comes the main part that's the scheduling. So this is the heart and soul of the entire fee system. So in the schedule, you create a schedule that goes to your new kids as goes to your old kids. So for example, in the month of April, how much fees would be category would be collected in which categories is something that you do in the scheduling part. So for example, for first A, I have set up that in the month of April in under annual fees, I'm going to take 50 rupees under composite. I'm going to take hundred rupees. And again, under computer, I'm going to take hundred rupees. This is applicable for class first day. Now the facilitate facilities that we have provided is that a school can schedule a fees for old student, a separate fees for a new kids. And if in case you have special categories, such as you have certain students who belong to say a defense quota or a government quota, and you want to give them a special kind of a fees. So even those special category fees can also be added over here. Okay. Then comes your fine. So three ways, three options are available for a school to schedule a fine. You can have a month wise fine. That means once a due date is crossed for a specific month, the fines gets the fine, the fine starts to be levied and the, as per the fine category that you have chosen. So if in case I switch on the month wise fine, so if in case I am a default for a specific month from next month, I will be supposed to pay 500 rupees. Similarly, I can also toggle a day wise fine. Day wise fine mean post a due date for every day, how much fine is incurred. And then there's also an option for interval wise fine. So I can choose key if my due date was 10th of that month post every day, I want to take a fine of 20 rupees per day till 15th. After 15, it should be 30 rupees per day. And after 28, flat 100 rupees fine. So if in case I have a typical fine structure, even that can be managed very smoothly in our platform. Coming to concessions. So in majorly three kinds of concessions are predefined. RT concession, staff concession, and sibling concessions. So you can choose the concession based upon percentage and amount. In case a school wants to define their own custom concession, they can also go ahead and do that. So you can create your own custom concession. You can choose on which categories and at which installment you want to give that concession. And then you can go ahead and allocate the concession to that specific child. You can also schedule a separate fees for transport. 
in case you want to have a different window for fee selection for transport, you can have that. If in case you want to include in the same fees, you can also do that. So students who are availing a transport, when they pay a fees, for them, a transport fees for that month is, can also be added. And then there are loads of configuration. For example, I want to skip the transport fees for summer vacation, for winter vacation. I can do all those parts. Once I am set up, I am all good to collect fees. Now, suppose we have created a login wherein I am supposed to take the fees only and I'm not supposed to give any discount. So the fee collection guy will be enabled and all these discount concession will go off from his login. All he has to do is whenever a parent come, click on the name of the child. All his installments can be viewed over here. So let me click on the name, say. So see for Siddhant, the entire installments come over here. Now we have kept a very easy to understand color codes. Green means that specific month is cleared and the month gets blocked. You cannot collect any fees any further in that for that month. Blue means you have not even paid a single amount. And red means you are having, you have paid, pen, uh, you know, partial payment for that month. So for example, for the month of March, the child has to pay only for transport. That is 500 rupees. And the child comes and pay only 300 rupees. So 200 rupees due. I can keep it over here. I can choose the mode of payment. And then I can collect the fees. It's as simple as that. The moment I collect the fees, the fee receipt gets generated. Now, when I see this month, say March is again in red because it's a partial payment. I want to clear the fees, click on March. 200 was a due amount. I can go ahead and pay the entire fees. And the entire fees gets paid. And now every, every month becomes green. And then there is a whole set of reports, more than 85 reports that are available at the discretion of a school. You want to have the analytical report class wise, you can have that. You want to have a transaction report for every class, you can have that. So right now we collected this amount. Receipt number, everything comes over here. You want to have a transactional details, you can have that. You want to see a separate transport for fees, you can have that. You can have all the instant concession transactions, you can have the mode wise collection, you can have the category wise fees payment. So loads and loads of reporting is available to suit all the purpose, you know, the school is looking for. So you can have a class wise defaulters. So suppose for the month of 22, 23, I select for the month of April, who are my defaulters. So all the defaulters would come over here and now I can schedule the entire fees or I can also set up a message and a default message can go to all the parents saying that dear parent and you have an outstanding of rupees X payable for your child for the month X. So a customized message goes to every parent. Okay. That's the overall solution. And then if a school wants, we can also enable the payment gateways. So payment gateways, as we all are aware, the payments can come online and then the parents can directly pay the fees using their mobile app. So no crying of parents saying that we have missed the deadlines. We are not able to come to the school. Now the parents would also be having an option to pay via mobile and they have been doing enough transaction on Paytm, mobile quick wallets and different wallets. So it becomes very easy for them to use the mobile app and pay the fees over there. So that's the overall solution that we provide as a value added services to all the Vartna clients free of cost. Any doubt anyone has, please feel free to use the chat window. Please raise your hands in case you have a doubt. Fine. So I think, uh, Girija, we are done. Anna? I don't oh. see any doubt coming in the, uh, in the chat window as well. Anna? So okay, sure. yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Thank you very much for this uh, presentation. And uh, now we're at the end of our webinar. Um, we have shared a, a feedback form 
uh, with uh, link with all of you in the chat Q and A box. Please, uh, before leaving this webinar, please uh, fill the details so you can get your uh, participation certificates. And thank you once again, all of you, to taking out your time and joining us and share your learning with all of us and making this webinar fruitful. <laughs>